Alright, so today we're going to learn about one of the most basic Photoshop tutorials, which is just taking a person, in this case it's me, and cutting out all this background stuff so that we can just see me. To start off, uh, you're going to want to download the person. And once you're downloaded, let's go to Photoshop, File, Open, and just click the image we just downloaded. To start off, you're going to want to double click the background layer, and this will let us make edits to it. Once we've done this, you want to click the quick selection tool. It's right here. And you'll see a little kind of brush thing going. You can adjust the size of the brush by moving this slider around. Um, for this, for our purposes, probably around size 30 will work best. All right. To, so to get started, uh, just kind of click on the screen, and you're going to see some area be selected. Now, if you hit the backspace, uh, whatever you selected will be deleted. Um, however, we kind of cut off my hair here, so I'm just going to roll that back. And then to uh, kind of recover my hair, you're going to want to click on this minus brush. And then now you can kind of uh, unselect the areas that uh, you previously selected. So my hair's back, and there we go. Before you, I can continue editing, I need to switch back to the plus brush, plus brush, and then continue going along. As you notice, the quick selection tool is pretty good about conforming to the person's uh, body, and it saves a lot of time when you're trying to cut some people off. What Viking will do is use the pen tool, and there'll be some atrocious uh, cutouts. But this is a fast and easy way to... Um, just get the image you want in the background layer. All right, so basically what happened is uh, I made some random click and it selected too much of my leg. So if I hold the Alt key, it's a shortcut for the minus so that I don't have to constantly click between these two brushes. So I can toggle between the two brushes by holding the Alt key. So let's just recover my leg and my shoe. All right, it's looking pretty good. I hit the end. I got my leg there, so roll it back, kind of recover my knee, there we go, and just continue clicking along. Uh, once again, Alt to kind of deselect the areas so that we can recover my shoe. I'm actually going to make the brush a little bit smaller, about 16, and just continue going up. a little bit of my ear there and that looks good so I'm hit delete and then let's get the arm portion once again alt and just deselect the arm delete select that little space in here make sure that you're not cutting off uh, the jersey area and that looks good All right. Oh, and to zoom in, it's control plus or minus. Sometimes you'll have these little lines here. Um, mainly, it's just little residue. So if you just go to the eraser tool, which is right here, and then just get rid of that. All right. That's pretty good. Um, I've cut myself out, but I kind of want to go a step further. So I'm going to bring up this image of... Kent Slaney, it's a guy on the track team who's usually about 10 seconds ahead of me. So what I can do now is go to the marquee tool, which is right here. And what it lets you do is kind of select an area. So I want to select the area that I'm in here, hit control C, then go to Kent and control V. And you notice that I've appeared as a layer right there. Make sure that you want to make sure that this layer is on top of this layer and then Basically what we're going to do is we're going to move me kind of over here and then make myself a little bit smaller. So as you do that, you're going to want to do a control T. It's free transform. And then as you're moving the image around, you want to grab this upper right hand corner and hold shift. If you don't do this, it's going to like stretch the person out. For example, like that. 
So you have to hold shift as you're making any sort of change. So mm, that looks about good. All right, still a little big. Um, and it, once you're doing free transform, if you hit enter, it'll finalize it. So yeah, basically by uh, start, we started with this image here. We cut me out, use the rectangular marquee tool to select an area and put me in with Kent. And now it looks like I'm actually ahead of him in a race for once. And that's it.